Scramblers were the original dirt bikes. They were initially road bikes modified to fulfill some form of off-road purpose thanks to the addition of taller suspensions, knobby tires, a skid plate and high mount exhaust. The goal was to end up with a more versatile bike that could tackle both the streets and the trails. Fast forward 50 years and scramblers have evolved from DIY yard builds into factory affairs. Though some of these modern scramblers look and feel pretty legit, can they be considered the real deal? Some purists argue that they aren't. Frankly, custom builds are possibly closer to being the real thing. Whether they are real scramblers or not, some manufacturers have given up some solid options to consider for those who'd rather get a ready-to-go scrambler than a project bike with the potential to become one. So here's our pick of the best factory prepared scramblers. Ducati Scrambler You can't make a list of scramblers without including the bike whose model name itself is Scrambler. No matter how legit or not they are, there are two of these on the market at the moment starting with Ducati's take on the historical segment and the appropriately named Scrambler. The model was introduced in 2014 in two mid-range versions, 400 and 800cc, followed by 1100cc trim level more recently. While the model doesn't have the same old-school quality as the other Scramblers on the list, the Italian Scrambler proved on several occasions that it has some serious off-roading chops by participating in desert raids and rallies, including the Mint 400. Since the model's inception, Ducati has introduced several versions of the Scrambler to play on its versatility, including such versions such as the Desert Sled and the Full Throttle. That being said, unless it's a question of design preference, you don't really need to pay the premium for a factory modified model to get your fix. The base model alone will take you a long way down the paths less traveled. Triumph Scrambler 1200 Though it cautiously stepped on the scrambler scene in the mid-2000s with the introduction of the street scrambler, famous British bike maker Triumph went all in in 2019 when it launched the Scrambler 1200. While the Street Scrambler is the off-road friendly version of the Bonneville T100, the Scrambler 1200 launched as the Bonneville's T120's trail-ready alter ego armed with taller suspension, high-seat dual exhaust, skid plate and larger fuel tank. All the good stuff you'd want in an off-road capable bike. The model shed 45 pounds and the 1200cc parallel twin gained a healthy 9 horsepower and 4 pound feet of torque in the scramblerizing process. With this pair of lateral shocks and the flat saddle, the Scrambler 1200 is possibly one of the best looking scramblers currently offered on the market. Husqvarna Swartpilen Though it looks like nothing which you'd picture a scrambler to look like, the Husqvarna 401 Swartpilen still has the chops to be considered at least an honorary mention in the segment. Design-wise, the Husqvarna Pilens, both Swart and Vit, look like nothing we have seen before with quirky, almost futuristic silhouettes. With its tall stands, knobby tires and some plate, however, the Swartpilen gives us a little taste of Scrambler wrapped in a delightfully Swedish design. Armed with a 373cc single, 6 inches of suspension travel and weighing in at a minuscule 335 pounds, you might not think the Swartpillen a scrambler, but we think you should. An unusual scrambler but a capable one nonetheless. It's a husky after all. BMW R90 Scrambler if you are not overwhelmed by the number of available versions of the R90 BMW has come up with, then you can certainly appreciate how good the bike looks. The model is part of what BMW calls its heritage lineup alongside the recently introduced R18. The entry-level R90 was first introduced six years ago, before the House of Munich went a little berserk on the factory modifications. One of the resulting BMW built customs, the R90 Scrambler was introduced in 2016. The R90's foundation has a lot of potential but BMW doesn't push the off-road aspect as much as its competitors. That being said, throw in a pair of knobbies, a sump plate and possibly even crash bars to protect those beautiful flat twin cylinder heads and you'll have yourself a pretty credible Scrambler. That exposed belly makes us a little nervous though. 
with its silvery blue colorway paired with an elegant tan tuck and roll saddle and the purr of that 1170cc boxer engine, off-road or not, this is one scrambler that knows how to turn heads. So that sums up our pick of the best factory-built scramblers. What's your favorite modern day or original scrambler? Let us know in the comments down below. We hope you liked the video, if so, hit that like button and if you'd like to catch more motorcycle news and content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.